Hey, y'all. Welcome back. <clears throat> so, have I got one for you today? Today, you know, I was thinking, I was thinking, I want to talk about music as it pertains to intelligence. Roll the title. Go on, hop up on your soapbox. All right. So, y'all, it's getting chilly. It's it's sweater weather. I love it. It's uh it's really crisp outside. It's still sunny. It's it's nice and just comfortable. It's quite chilly, so it's nice to be inside here and uh, just enjoying myself today. I got my sweater on, and look, somebody went and got a haircut. Uh, anyhow, today I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for a while, and that is musical intelligence. So, uh, the, mostly as this pertains to the way that we measure each other's smarts, right? We often call someone maybe street smart, or book smart, or math smart, or whatever it is. But, uh, there are a couple ways to go about this. You know, people talk about IQ. Can you even tell me what IQ means? Intelligence quotient. Yeah, that's a f mouthful. So anyway, we got intelligence quotient, and that really is a very vague, broad term. But there are many different forms of intelligence, and I feel like right now, even, we're starting to develop uh, the understanding that there are other quotients, perhaps, as well, right? Emotional quotients, or kinesthetic quotients, and really, these are forms of intelligence. So what I'm referring to specifically is uh, Mihai, Csikszentmihalyi's book called Flow. And if you've ever heard of this book, good for you. If you've read it, reread it. If you haven't read it, get a copy. Thrift books. Don't use Amazon. Thrift books or, or any of these other places that you could go to get a used copy or uh, swap with somebody or better, le better yet, go to your public library and, and uh, check out a copy. But Flow is an excellent book and he coined the term Flow when we're in a state of doing something rapturous musically. <laughs> And or perhaps surfing under that huge wave when we're in a an intensely absorbed activity. He defines in this book, he says there are actually many forms of intelligence, right? I, I would say emotional intelligence is very, very important. Have you ever met somebody that's really smart but emotionally a mess? Tell me. Oh shit, it's not gonna reach. Tell me. Have you have you ever met anyone who's really like Book smart, they get all A's, but their emotional life is just in shambles, huh? I met those people. I still meet them all the time. So there are different ways. There's also bodily kinesthetic. That's a form of intelligence, right? I imagine linguistic intelligence, how a person communicates and uses language. There is also, say it with me, musical intelligence. And I'm kind of wondering, like, what does this mean? I don't really personally know what it means, but I feel like I have a certain level of musical intelligence. I'm not saying I'm some musical god or genius. I'm also not a musical idiot. And there are musical idiots out there, I'm sure. I'm kind of a math idiot, right? But uh, I almost didn't get out of high school because of my math grades. Mm. Story for another day. But anyhow, you know, is I think about, like, is this, like, just knowledge of things like scales? Is this knowledge of things like... Um, chord, you know, cadences and chord progressions? Is it a knowledge of rhythm? Is it a knowledge of uh, being able to improvise? Is it a knowledge of creativity? I imagine it's some amalgam of all of them, right? Because this is what, when we approach music, we're really approaching a form of very human intelligence. And it, it also occurs in the body. Music implies a kinesthetic intelligence. Because if you're doing some... You might feel that rhythm in your body and your body might respond. I imagine that's a cross network of musical intelligence and bodily kinesthetic awareness and intelligence. Musical intelligence probably roots and snakes and veins its way into other forms of intelligence, like intrapersonal, how to communicate with people, how to understand body language, uh, or perhaps um, emotional intelligence, right? So, and not to mention mathematics, or linguistic, depending on how you write lyrics, or how you describe and talk about music. So anyway, just think about what kind of musical intelligence you have. 
Um, you know, if we see somebody who maybe doesn't have rhythm, if we find somebody who tries to sing, but they're what we call tone deaf, I'm gonna do a whole episode on tone deaf. I think tone deaf is a terrible, terrible, I don't even want to say it. I'm not going to say it anymore. I think it's a misnomer. And I think that it's, uh, it's rude to call anybody that I don't, I don't like that. We're going to, we're going to, I'm, I'm going to talk about that down the line. Anyway, uh, if we see these sorts of things, do we judge these people as musically illiterate or musically stupid? Because musical intelligence, I think, is actually in our DNA. I think humans are by nature, to some degree, at least a little musical. Even if it's the rhythm of the way we breathe. Even if it's the rhythm of... Uh, <laughs> the rhythm of the night. <laughs> Can you be to the rhythm of the night? Dancing to the morning light. You worry about the worries on your mind. Yeah, so, you know, there's just, if, if you look around, there are many different ways to measure intelligence. And I encourage you to broaden, broaden your um, ideas about how it is we judge each other or how it is we experience one another. You might find somebody who's really, really book smart and good at taking tests, but has n very little musical intelligence. You might find a musically intelligent person who had terrible SAT scores. And that drives me nuts. We don't, te we don't test, you know, people who are going to college on, on, these various forms of intelligence. If you're asking to be tested on, in those ways, well, then that's some form of fine art or specialty niche uh, uh, route of study. I think these things are all present within us. So get yourself a copy of Flow by Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. And uh, it's just, it's a wonderful book. And find your way that gets you into your highest form of intelligence. And you'll find, you'll find that you might actually have more a variety of intelligences than uh, than you thought. And uh, listen, read the book. And if you don't like them, tough. Yeah. Yeah.